The back rooms. You've been here before. Level 78, Space Station. Survival difficulty. Class 2, unsafe, secure, low entity count. Level 78 is the 79th level of the back rooms. This level is a massive space station located in what could be described as outer space. Image caption, view from porthole. Description, this level is a space station similar in design to the International Space Station, but extending for an unknown amount of distance in the four cardinal directions. There is no detectable gravity in this level. Nearly everything in this level is coated in a multitude of devices, buttons, levers, and screens, but none of them seem to have any sort of power. In addition, several walls have been covered in what seems to be level zero wallpaper, loosely fitting on many of the gizmos. Unlike most backrooms levels, level 78 seems to have a variety of differentiated rooms and corridors with many identifiable purposes. Although all of them in a severe state of disrepair, each one of these is separated from the others and from regular corridors by airlocks, with most of them open. Hydrophonic gardens line the corridors, but the plants living there have either dried up or are widely overgrown out of their gardens in search for nutrients. These plants do not seem to require sunlight to function, instead metabolizing the metal and cloth of the level's walls. Space lavatories are often found around dead ends within the weightless halls, and the ones in the greatest state of disrepair. These rooms usually have floating drops of sewage water suspended in mid-air, and, for some strange reason, dehydrated rations. The toilets in particular seem to be prone to hiding clumps. It is advised to stay away. What has been identified as bedrooms are the most seldom found differentiated room of level 78. These are similar to corridors, but do not have any sort of device on the wall. Instead, they are lined with opened and severely damaged sleeping bags, with the most intact ones being stuffed with shards of plastic, glass, cloth, and what appear to be hair. Occasionally, travelers may encounter what some call a pod bay. These are semicircular rooms with an airlock leading to the outside of the station, labeled with a green exit sign. The room itself is made out of padded yellow wall with similarly colored harnesses, with a small chance of an EVA spacesuit resting on them. All found suits have some sort of critical damage that renders them unusable, with the most common, but not exclusively to all, being a smashed helmet. The airlock has a porthole exposed to vacuum, and the airlock itself seems to be one of the few devices of the level that have any sort of power to function. Vacuum on what could be described as the quote-unquote ceiling, or the quote-unquote floor of this Null G level, travelers may encounter portholes. These are able to resist virtually any damage done to them, including smashing or obscuring them with paint. On the other side, there are stars and the vacuum. There is no earth, there is no moon, there is no sun. It is even impossible to see the rest of the station from these viewpoints. On every bullseye window, travelers can only see a vast amount of stars of many different sizes, colors, and luminosity. Each star field is different on each individual porthole, and even then it has been reported that the stars themselves may shift in position, appear, or snuff out. Those that stare at them for too long have reported to hear singing as well as observing blinking patterns and a compulsion to go greet them. These people are often found floating in open pod bays, the vacuum that beckons them having drained their lungs of air, or having become wretches with a territorial obsession with a particular bullseye. Bases, outposts, and communities. There are no known bases, outposts, or communities on this level. Entities. Although rare, entities in this level include clumps living in lavatories, dollars stationed at crossroads, the previously mentioned wretches, and a surprisingly high population of combine. 
It has also been noted that any entity capable of flight, such as death moths, seems to struggle and become disoriented within the Null G environment of level 78. Entrances and Exits Entrances It appears that most people can enter this level through an airlock-like door within level 56. In addition, some people have reported to have entered through a similar entry in the level 5 boiler room. Exits There is a very low chance of an airlock's porthole displaying a street in level 11 instead of stars. Simply entering said airlock will deposit the traveler in said level, apparently having come out of a random door.